Hi, I'm Zor. I would like to continue solving problems uh, with logarithms. Um, these problems are also simple, so um, just just try to, to solve them themselves first and, uh, and and then listen to this lecture. So that's probably very important for you to to try to do it yourself first. But anyway, the problems are very simple. So let me just go straight ahead with uh, whatever I had. Um, the first series of problems um, is related to equations which is necessary to solve. So, um, log base 3 of 3 plus x equals 2. Now, all these equations are basically illustrations to definition of the logarithm. So, what's the definition of logarithm? Well, you know that uh, if base is raised into the value of this logarithm, which is true, you will have the value under the sign of logarithm. So from here, and using the definition of the logarithm, we can derive that 3 plus x is 3 to the power of 2. So 3 plus x equals 9, x equals 6. That's the solution. And indeed, if you will substitute x here, you will have 3 plus x, which is 9, and logarithm 9 with the base 3 is 2, because 3 squared is 9. So all of these examples are on the same level of difficulty. I'm just thinking that the more examples, we, we will, more equations of this type we will solve, well, the better you will feel about the logarithms, and the more fluent you will be in this language. Next, log base one half of x over two equals minus three. Again, using the logarithms definition, the base one half raised into the power minus 3, which is the value of the whole logarithm, should be equal to whatever the value of under the logarithm is. Right? So, 1 half to the minus 3. Um, minus means it should be inverted, so it's 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. 8 equals and x is equal 16. And again, if you substitute 16 here, you will have 8. And logarithm of 8, base 1 half, is minus 3, because 1 half to the power of minus 3 will give you, will give you 8. By the way, don't think that all problems with logarithms are that simple. These are just illustrative problems. There are much more complex ones, which probably we will address in the next lecture. So. Log of uh, log base 110, 5x equals 3. OK, let me be a little bit faster in this case. So 1 tenths to the third degree is equal to 5x. This e is 1 thousandths equals 5x. x equals 1 over 5,000. That's the solution. So, if, as you know, just I'm saying less words and, and more um, actions, because it's actually, I, I've already said all the words, everything is supposed to be understood right now from just whatever I'm writing about. Log 2 x to the tenth degree is equal to minus 10. So 2 to the power of minus 10 should be equal to x to the power of 10. Well, it's easier if you will do it this way. 2 to the power of minus 10 is 1 half to the power of 10. 
And considering that exponential function is really um, uh, well, um, the graph. Well, this is not. Uh, I, I'm sorry. This is not an exponential function, um, but the graph of this function x to the tenth degree is something like this. It looks like a parabola, but but, but steeper. So, in this particular case, it's very easy to find one solution, which is obvious solution, x is equal to 1 half. But as you understand, x equals to minus 1 half is also a solution because this is an even power. Minus 1 half to the 10th degree is exactly the same uh, as 1 half to the 10th degree. So we have two solutions to this equation. log 1 of base square root of 3 of 3x three is equal to minus 2. All right. So square, of, uh, square root of 3 to the power minus 2 is equal to 3x. Now, this is 1 over square root of 3 to the second degree, which is one third. So one over square root of three square is basically squaring of uh, separately numerator and denominator. One square is one, square root of three square is three. So from here we have x is equal to one ninth, right? All right, done that. I hope I'm not boring with all these very, very similar and very simple equations. But again, I'm just trying to say that the more problems of this you solve, the better you will feel about it. This is the last equation. By the way, just looking at this equation, you already have to understand that x is supposed to be greater than 0, because otherwise the square root would not exist, and then 1 over square root uh, prohibits x equals to 0. All right, so 3 to the power of minus 1 half is supposed to be equal to this. Now, this is 1 third to the power one half. This is square root of one third is equal to one over square root of x. Now we can square both sides, um, and that would be uh, one third equals to one over x. X equals three, which is indeed positive value, that's why it fits the bill. Well, that's it about equations. So, next series of problems is calculation. So, we will try to calculate, obviously without the calculators, certain things related to logarithms. I think this is a little bit more interesting. Log base 3 of 3 square root of 3. Now, how to calculate this? Well, here is how. First of all, you have to um, express the value in parentheses as the power of 3. If you will do that, then obviously logarithm is equal to a. We know that from Theoretical, uh, theoret uh, theoretical lectures, and we talked about this many times. Because 3 to the power of a would be 3 to the power of a, right? That's the definition of the logarithm. So all we need to do is to transform the value in parentheses into base to some power. 
Well, but that's very easy to do. 3 is 3 to the first power. Now multiply by square root of 3, which is 3 to the 1 half. Now, whenever we have two, um, uh, uh, two, two numbers with, which are actually um, which are exponents with the same base and different exponent and different exponents on the top. Um, what you have to do is you have to add up the exponents. So this is three to one plus one half. Um, I hope you remember this. A to the power of b times a to the power of c is equal to a to the power of b plus c. Okay, this is one of the fundamental properties of exponential functions. And so this is equal to 3 to the power of 3 over 2, which means this is equal to log 3, 3 to the power of 3, 2. And that's why it's equal to over two. the exponent of this. Since the base is the same as this, 3 to the power of 3 over 2 will be 3 to the power of 3 over 2, right? So that's the, that's the way how we calculate. The most important is to transform um, whatever is under the logarithms into the base in some power. And we will do exactly the same in all these cases log um, one half base square root of two over two. What is it? It's log one half of square root of two is two to the power of one half. Then one half is two to the power of minus one, which is log one half uh, 2 to the power of minus 1 half, which is equal to log 1 half. Now, since this is minus, we can invert it, and we will have 1 half to the power of 1 half, right? Instead of 2 to the power minus 1 half, we have 1 half to the power of 1 half, which is therefore equal to 1 half. Next. Exactly the same technique we will use all these times with all these calculations. Log 1 tenths, 10 to the third degree. All right. Log 1 tenths. It's one tenths to minus three, right? Instead of ten, we can put one over ten with a, with a minus sign in the in, in the power in the exponent. That's why it's equal to minus three. in the parentheses um, in, uh, in the expression of 2 to some power, right? So what is, first of all, it would be negative power, right? So it's uh, 8 would be uh, 2 to the power of minus 3, because it's 1 8 actually, and 1 over 2 would be 
2 to the power minus 1 half. So minus gives you 1 second, uh, 1 half, and uh, the power of 1 half gives you square root, which is equal to, now you have to add exponents, so it would be 2 to the power of minus 3 and 1 half. And that's why it's equal to 3 minus 3 and 1 half. Oh, sorry. 3 and 1 half, which is minus 7 half. All right. A couple of more. Um, log base is square root of 3. 27 square root of 3. All right. So we have to convert whatever is here into the square root of 3 in some, uh, in some power. So let's think about it. 27 is 3 cubed. But if I want to have the base 1 uh, uh, square root of 3, which is this, right? So instead of 3, I put square root of 3 squared. Now, this expression means you have to multiply the powers. So it's square root of 3 to the power of 6. So here we have log square root of 3 of square root of 3 to the 6 and square root of 3 to the 1 which is equal to log square root of 3 of square root of 3 to the power 7 so that's equal to 7 right One more. Log base one third of one over square root of three. Well, again. Same thing. One third, one half. That's what one over square root of three is, right? This is the square root. And that's why the whole thing is equal to one half. Sorry, that's three it's supposed to be. Okay, that was the last one of this series. And then I have the last series of problems of the same kind of difficulty, or easiness if you wish. Well, actually they are much easier. So we're talking about common or decimal logarithm, um, which is the logarithm uh, base 10. So the question is, what is this? Now, if there is no base indication, it means it's base 10. Well, you know that log uh, uh, of 1 with any base is equal to 0 because any base to the power of 0 would be equal to 1. Next, log 10. What is the power I have to raise 10 to get 10? Obviously 1. Log 100 is equal to 2 because 10 squared is equal to 100. Log of 0 0.1 uh, is equal to minus 1. This is 1 tenth. So if I raise 10 to the power of minus 1, I get 1 tenth. And finally, log 0 0.01, which is 100, this is minus 2. Because 10 
minus means it's one tenth, and then square it will be one hundredth. And the last one, log 0 0.001, obviously it's minus 3, for the same reason. 10 minus would be 1 tenths, cube would be 1 thousandths. Okay, that completes uh, the series of simple problems related to logarithms. Um, uh, please re-examine them again, I think it's always useful, this type of things. Um, and uh, as usual, I encourage you to uh, to be a registered student, uh, to have somebody as a supervisor, or actually you yourself can be your supervisor under a different ID, enroll yourself or somebody should enroll you into um, courses, and that would enable you to take exams, which is very important. Thank you very much. That's it for today.